Why play a Nivea mid? Well, she brings strong wave clear. She puts out tons of AoE damage, she has tons of CC, and she scales incredibly well. However, she is mana hungry, especially early, and she is immobile with no additional mobility. A Nivea's passive is once every 4 minutes, upon taking fatal damage, she becomes an egg. While an egg, she gains additional armor and magic resist, and after 6 seconds, she'll come back alive with her current health. However, this egg can be attacked by enemies. A Nivea's Q has two parts to it. Firstly, when used, it is a straight line skill shot which deals damage to all enemies it passes through and slows them. When this ability is recast, or upon hitting maximum distance, it then explodes dealing damage in a circle, stunning all enemies hit. So it can deal damage when passing over the enemy and damage again when exploding. A Nivea's W places terrain on the floor which knocks away all units from it. The more this ability is leveled up, the longer the terrain becomes. A Nivea's E has a passive where enemies hit by her Q or fully formed ultimates become chilled. The active is a point and click ability which deals damage to the enemy hit and if they're chilled, this damage is doubled. A Nivea's ultimate places a circle on the floor which expands to its full size. Enemies within take constant damage and are slowed. And when it's at its full size, it deals massively more damage and increases the slow. While this ability is active, it will constantly drain a Nivea's mana, and if a Nivea's hard CC'd or goes out of range, the ultimate will stop. For combos, an easy go-to is to use Q and make sure it passes over the target first before detonating it for the second chunk of damage. Follow up with an auto into E to proc electrocute. A more advanced one is to use Q and then W by behind your target to bunch them into it before following up with an auto attack into E. And your all-in combo is to use ultimate into your Q and W following up with your E. For matchups, Anivia is great into champions who she can easily disengage from and zone all game. And she can struggle against mid-range mages who will be able to apply heavy pressure. For runes, take this. Electrocute makes your short trades brilliant. For build order, start Ring and Pot into Rod of Ages and Tier 2 Boots. After this, an Archangels and Leandries are great pickups before finishing a build with any of these as needed. For skill order, start Q then E, then take a second point in E before taking W. After this, max E then Q then W, taking ult whenever you can. For summoner spells, take Flash and Teleport. The start of the game is Anivia's weakest point of the match, so your main focuses are going to be on farming hard to scale well, poking your opponent and taking good trades. And if you can ever poke your opponent by using Q over the wave before detonating it on them, it can be great value. And once you hit level 6, you can now push waves incredibly quickly, so use your ultimate in Q to push waves in and either get free backs or influence other lanes. Entering the mid game, your bot lane will usually come mid which puts your golden experience in a side lane. Push these side lanes out as far as you can safely before grouping up with your team for picks, fights and objectives. Entering late game team fights, you want to play as the backline mage. You can easily zone enemies by using your W and your ultimate to stop them going certain places or forcing them to stay certain places. Other than this, use your Q to stun anything going for you, or to pick off any target as this easily goes through their front line and detonates on their backline. And once a target is chilled, spam away with your E's. 